मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ ए एफ आर एस माई नेम इज शालिनी शर्मा आई एम वॉलेंटियर इन ए एफ आर एस सो टू डेज टॉपिक ऑफ प्रजेंटेशन इज कैनबिस एंड इट्स फॉरेंसिक एग्जामिनेशन एंड सिग्निफिकेंस सो लेट्स बिगिन विद आर प्रजेंटेशन इन दिस प्रजेंटेशन वी विल कवरिंग टॉपिक्स लाइक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ड्रग्स वॉट इज कैनबिस इट्स डिफरेंट वेराइटीज various processes in forensic examination and at last we will cover covering the forensic significance of cannabis now we will start our topic with a brief introduction about drugs drugs is a substance which alters body's functioning and working of mind when it is consumed drugs primarily act on central nervous system and it affects various receptors neurotransmitters present in brain these produce several effects like stimulation hallucination etc drugs are categorized into different classes on the basis of their primary effect which includes stimulants depressants hallucinogens opioids cannabinoids dis- dissociatives etc but here we will focus only on cannabinoids cannabinoids act on receptors in brain and produce effects like relaxation altered perception and mood changes in consumer Let's discuss a brief intro about cannabinoids cannabinoids is also called as ganja or marijuana in local language it is extracted from cannabis plant cannabis has cannabinoids in it which is a which is a chemical co- compound and its major proportion has thc in it which is mainly responsible for its psychotropic effects cannabis plant has been cultivated from thousands of years for various purposes ganja is regarded as a recreational drug recreational drugs are purely taken for enjoyment and leisure activities purpose which induce an intoxication effect in the consumer's body ganja is considered illegal in many countries but in some place it is legalized for medical purposes only discuss about various varieties of cannabis there are in total three varieties of cannabis present all over the world which is cannabis sativa cannabis indica and hybrid variety of cannabis the first variety is cannabis sativa species this species of cannabis can be identified by having narrower leaves and much longer height of plant in comparison to cannabis indica species Cannabis sativa produce primary effects like uplifting of consumer's mood and energizing him upon consumption. They stimulate central nervous system leading to higher creativity, focus and increase amiable skills in consumer. The second species is cannabis indica. It has relatively short height, broad leaves in comparison to cannabis sativa species. after consumption this produces a sense of relaxation sedation and relief from stress in consumer's body the last variety of cannabis is hybrid variety this species is found by cross breeding of sativa and indica species of cannabis plant hybrid varieties are as presumed they have inherited the desired characteristics of both varieties you can see the difference between all the three varieties in the figure below with respect to the width of leaves effects on body and so on going forward in this presentation now we will study about forensic examination of cannabis forensic examination is purely conducted for legal and investigative purposes like detecting the presence of cannabis its quantity present origin and most importantly most important of all it provide the evidence in criminal cases which are related to drug offenses cannabis examination include the following steps physical examination chemical examination now we will briefly study about each step in physical examination there is visual and microscopic examination in visual examination we note down the morphological features of cannabis including its shape size color etc which helps in determination of type of species of cannabis present In microscopic ex- analysis we observe specimen under microscope and note down the granular structures plant tissues number of trichomes present in it this helps in determining the specific variety of cannabis and if any adulterant is present in it or not now we will study about the 
chemical examination of cannabis. After physical examination, the plant specimen is further tested for determining the presence and quantity of cannabinoids present in it. For this process, high pressure liquid chromatography and gas chromatography are used. By the process of quantitative analysis, the amount or concentration of cannabinoids present in the specimen is determined. In genetic analysis, the identification and differentiation between the different species of cannabis is done. This also determines the origin of specimen. This process is done by the help of PCR. We will discuss about contaminant analysis process. This step involves testing of the specimen whether it contains any type of heavy metal, pesticides, adulterant or anything of this sort which may harm the consumer. Mass spectrometry and AAS are used for this process. The last step is final packaging and sealing of plant specimen. This is most crucial step for maintaining chain of custody of specimen. Here are some of the forensic significances of cannabis. Firstly, it is used in identification of drugs in suspected samples. Secondly, it provides information of quantity of THC present in it, which proved to be a risk, high risk factor for individual consuming it. It also links suspects to drug abuse like severe crimes. We can also determine the origin and species of specimen via genetic analysis and stable isotope methods. The origin of cannabis specimen can help in tracking down illegal cultivation practice. So we can identify various adulterants and contaminants present in plant specimen including pesticides, heavy metal etc. The overall forensic examination of specimen can help criminal justice system in putting adequate charges on accused in drug abuse cases. Moreover, by the quantitative analysis of cannabis, one can easily note down the drug trends associated with drug markets.